and the wolves go marching on. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Raz, and you're joining me for yet another win, yet another fantastic performance, but this time from a completely different 11, and that's why yesterday's game made me more excited, I think, for the rest of the season than any of the other wins so far. Possibly quite an odd comment, but if you consider the depth that we've got now in that in our squad, we've got a very, very good first 11, Yesterday was our second 11 and I'm going to go through each of the players and talk about how good they were and how they could possibly impact our first team in the future. So Nuno made 11 changes from the team that lost to Cardiff at the weekend but they kept the same formation, the same style, the same patient build up as usual which Nuno has called our identity and has built this sort of ethos around the club that this is how we're going to play and now other teams are changing how they are playing to try and combat our style. Southampton beat West Ham at the weekend and changed to a three at the back to try and match us and it didn't work. So to start off with Will Norris and goal, he had a very busy first half, he made a couple of very good saves near the end of the half as well, also made a good save when it was 1-0, tipping across onto the bar. Looked fairly secure at the back and I'm happy with him as a number two to John Ruddy, very, very secure in the two games I've seen him play this season. The back three of Deslandes, Bart and Bennett I thought were very good. Bart and Bennett, in fact, dealt with Charlie Austin very well. He barely had a sniff all game. Deslandes looks like a small, big willy. He looks like he's been watching him very, very closely in some of the way, the way that he was bursting out of the defence a couple of times and the way that he was using the ball as well was very similar to the way that Willy Bolly uses it. Danny Bart as well, taking his goal very well, hasn't had the opportunity to play that often this season, so he was very glad, I think, and a bit of that to the fans as well. Now, the wing-backs, Ruben Vinagre at left wing-back, I thought, has played very well in the two games that we've seen him so far this season. He's only 18. The way that he gets past the winger making chances and he's very skillful with his feet. I really like him. I thought he played quite well yesterday. He could just improve his ball into the box a little bit more then he'd be a very very dangerous player. Jordan Graham on the other hand at right wing back I really don't think that suits him. When I saw the team yesterday and saw that Ben Marshall was playing I did expect Ben Marshall to be playing at right wing back and Jordan Graham pushing on a little bit more. It doesn't suit Jordan Graham. I don't think he had a very good game yesterday. His balls into the box are terrible. He desperately needs to work on that because when he came back at the end of last season, if you remember the game against Preston, he put in a couple of very, very dangerous balls into the box, causing a goal in that match. But he seems to have lost that ability, whether it's because of his injury or a lack of confidence or what, I don't know, but he needs to work on that. And I would suggest him going out on loan for the next couple of months to try and play regular first team football and improve that aspect of his game. In terms of the midfield, I thought Jack Price was excellent yesterday. There's been there were rave reviews about him in pre-season talking about how he had improved massively since last season. Uh, and he proved that again in a competitive game against a tough opposition yesterday. The way that he didn't stop running, constantly winning the ball back, using it quite well, putting a couple of good through balls for Dicko as well in the first half. And Dangerous Dave as well, I thought played well. His usual sort of 100% effort, never stopped running, tried his hardest. It was good to see Ben Marshall back as well. He did look tired as the first half went on. It was the right decision to take him off. And then Conor Ronan coming on in that position really changed the game. His enthusiasm and his non-stop running put a lot of pressure on that fullback for Southampton and led to a number of chances. And the way that he was linking up on that side as well was fantastic. Cavalier had a fairly quiet game, I thought. He did make a couple of chances and a couple of good runs, but I think yesterday was his chance to really take the ball by the horns and and prove to Nuno that he needs to be starting matches ahead of Brighton and Bakari. He didn't really do a lot. He didn't do a lot wrong, but he didn't. There was something missing from his performance yesterday, I felt. Zyro coming off the bench as well for his first competitive appearance since the beginning of 2016. That was a great moment. It he did get booked after about 30 seconds, mind, but he put the ball through for the second goal, which we'll come to in a second. Uh, and generally, it was good to see him back. I hope that he gets loaned out again. Another player that I think needs loaning out to get first team pr match practice. He'll be able to come back then after Christmas and, and perhaps challenge for a first team space. Now, Nua Deco yesterday had two chances in the first half, in the first 10 minutes or so. Uh, one of them was quite a difficult chance. 
which he, he really he was angry that nobody else was coming into the box for him to pass to. But the second chance, Cavaliero had lost the ball, but then won it back on the left-hand side and crossed it in. The ball was slightly behind Dicko, so it was quite a hard chance for him. But it's one that you feel that a couple of years ago, before his injury, he would have taken. There's people already calling for Dicko to be axed or loaned out or sold, and there is interest apparently from Hull and QPR for him. I think he's a good player. He's shown this season that he's improved on last season, almost scoring as many goals already this season as he did over last season, which is only three. There is competition and it, for that place now, and if we do sign another striker, perhaps Dicko will be going. But Joe Mason going out to Burton yesterday as well, I think we should be keeping Dicko. However, Donovan Wilson coming off the bench then in the last couple of minutes, had one chance after about 90 seconds on the pitch, slotted it underneath Fraser Forster, scuffed little finish, didn't matter, it sent us all into ecstasy. Personally, it was great to see an academy player coming on and scoring a goal. And overall for me, yesterday's performance showed that we have got 22 players who have bought into Nuno's ethos, strategy, formation, tactics, and believe in it, and the results are proving that it's the right way to play. I think we've had the, we've got now the best manager the Wolves have had certainly for years and years and years. If not the championship, I think Nuno is magnificent. The way that he speaks after matches as well is inspiring. The way that he's talking about growing the team and learning from mistakes and pushing on, that, that's what we've needed. We don't need anybody talking about hard graft and 100% effort. We weren't talking about, right, this is this is how we are going to play. We're Wolverhampton Wanderers, and we're going to play like this. And if it doesn't work, we're going to try it again, and we're going to learn from the mistakes that we made, and we're going to move on. And that was pretty much the same team that played against Yeovil a couple of weeks ago, uh, and they didn't play particularly well. They squeezed past them. But yesterday, those 11 players that played really put their hands up, saying, I want to be part of this squad. I want to be part of... Wolverhampton Wanderers, I'm going to be part of Nuno's team and there's lots of them who, now who've given Nuno a lot to think about. For example, I would personally drop Miranda for Ryan Bennett. He dealt with Charlie Austin very, very well. Very physical presence, no problem at all. Let me know if you went to the game yesterday and who would you bring in to Saturday's team from today? Conor Ronan perhaps as well? certainly in the squad. And finally, a special mention to John Turpin's Gangsters Allardyce, who are top of the old Golden Blacks Fantasy Football Premier League league. If you want to join our league, there's links in the description with the little code that you need. There's also links in the description as well about blood and bone marrow donation, which are vital for fighting leukemia. So please, with Carla Kimi in mind, have a look at those links. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more Wolves content. There'll be a video up tomorrow giving a preview for the Brentford game. Also, if you want to check out what I thought immediately after the game, there'll be a little video here for where I spoke to The Ugly Inside, which is the Southampton's fan zine channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.